thousands of migrants intent on reaching the United States spent Christmas walking toward the U.S.-Mexico border. Primarily from Central and South America, they had gathered for months in Tapachula, a city in Mexico's southeast state of Chiapas near the border with Guatemala. That was the starting point for the caravan's journey north. There are children and women here with blisters on their feet, dehydrated. It is hard. It is hard to seek the American dream. What we are looking for is for the government to at least give us permission to cross. The caravan set out on its journey north just days before a scheduled meeting between a high-level U.S. delegation and Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador to address the escalating flow of migrants in the region. According to Chiapas authorities, about 10,000 migrants, including children, are in the caravan. The migrants say they have no money to pay for visas or human traffickers, known as coyotes. I don't have a single penny, and no one has given me a morsel of food. But I am determined. I'm not going to give up until I reach the border. Joining the caravan of migrants is Luis Villagran, director of the nonprofit Center for Human Dignification. We only ask for what is within the law, the delivery of documents to be in the country legally. During Wednesday's meeting, U.S. officials are expected to urge Mexico to stop more migrants at its southern border with Guatemala, while López Obrador is expected to ask the U.S. to send more development aid to migrants' home countries. In December alone, as many as 10,000 migrants were arrested daily at the southwest U.S. border. For Javier Egar in Mexico City, Veronica Villafañe, VOA News.